Hi everybody, I'm back and I'm going to be doing a quick review, hopefully, on some fortune cookie soaps. These are Christmas items. Um, my box, box got lost by accident. That's no fault of anybody's. Um, so it ended up in Pittsburgh somehow. So uh, they two, they second date aired, aired it to me and got it to me right away, which is very nice. Thank you, Justin and Shannon. Um, I realized the other day I was thinking, didn't I place an order in August? They had a live stream party. Um, it was on the back of their Witch Please soapbox. Um, it was a it was a Christmas launch, but it wasn't Christmas in July. Um, it was August 29th, and I ordered some items then. And I thought, I never got that box. And I called them up, and they said, yeah, you're right. So they sent it off to me, and it's right here. And then I've got some other ones I was going to review real quick. So let's get going and get this video. Um, I don't want to keep have them real long. So here, this one is called You Want Me to Sit Where? And it is so darling. This is Santa's little bottom with boots and jingle bells. And it smells like Christmas. It smells like evergreen. And can you imagine me sitting in a in a little, like a Christmas dish? Um, I wouldn't want to damage this and put it in the shower. So here is this one. I'll put it back in the bag. And as long as you store them in Tupperware real tight and seal them back up. I have my tape here, my Christmas tape. Uh, yeah, this is another thing. Really cute. They sell scotch tape like this now with patterns on it for Christmas. So I uh, seal it up real good. So that's the label. You want me to sit where? And then let me pull these new items out real quick. So this one's stuffed full of Christmas. I'm going to put this on the bed for now and then set this down. This box came a little um I think I open it upside down. So they tend to, I've never had anything come broken, so hopefully things should be okay. I'm going to set the box down and we will get reviewing. Whoops! They sent me a freebie, looks like. This is sample bath bomb. There's no place like home. Oh, smells good, really good. So, as far as I know, I don't think they have their Christmas items up yet on Fortune Cookie Soaps, but I haven't been there to their website lately. They may. So let's open this up. Okay, so I ordered Miss Miss Popular, and I'm not sure what exactly what what that is. I know it's a Christmas item. So there's the name, Miss Popular. Let's open that up. This is not made for human consumption because they smell so good. The little kid got a hold of them. So Miss Popular, that must be part of a movie or yeah. So these were freshly made. I can tell they're still um, kind of damp, but they're so fresh. That's the way. The best way to get them. Wow, look at how cute that is. Oh my goodness. Look at the glitter on it. And the little, uh, it's white. Wow, it smells like Christmas. It smells like candy. It smells like soap. Amazing. And kind of, uh, minty. So there's that one. I have a lot to go through, so I gotta really cruise. I'm gonna put them on the bed behind me. Um, here is Witch Please. This is um, a full bar of soap. Uh, I like their full bars of soap. I have a bunch on the floor I'm gonna review. These are for my new subscribers. Here is this one. The box was a little smashed, so I don't think anything's broken. Fortune cookie, strange and unusual. It's a little bit squished, but it should be fine. Uh, I had some, they call them cart hijackers. 
when you uh, when you have to speed and you don't you're not fast enough, things get taken out of your cart. It's nobody's fault. Uh, you just have to be fast. And if you're not fast enough, um, things get taken out of your cart. When they have like a flash sale, and that's what they had. I was I was still looking at more items, and then when I went back to my cart, they were gone. I was like, oh no! So I was only able to get like a, a few. So I'm going to show you what I have down here too for my new subscribers. Okay, so this one I can't even remember what it looks like, but it's cute. Oh, smells good. And get it out of the bag. These were freshly made. It looks like they made a fresh batch for me. Got it. It's got like black drizzle on top of red and white. So, it smells like licorice and it, it smells like candy. It smells like cher chocolate covered cherries. Yeah, that's what it smells like. And then the black drizzle smells like licorice. Wow. There's that one. That one's strange and unusual. And we'll seal those up in a minute. And then here's another one. Here is Roy G. Biv. The name. Roy G. Biv. So, of course, you guys know me. I would have placed a huge... Everything was on sale. I would have placed a huge order, but I fell asleep. That was the day I fell asleep on my computer. And woke up, and the sale was almost over. So I bought what was what I could buy, things that weren't sold out. I just wanted to cry almost. They had a gingerbread man. Hopefully they'll have him back at Christmas. I got one last year, and I I just took him out of the bag every day and looked at him. I think he's packed up with our Christmas stuff. I'm sure he won't smell as fresh as last year, but he was so cute. Oh, he was darling. So I'm not sure who Roy G. Biv is, but this one looks like a rainbow. Um, it's got yellow, pink, orange, purple, green. Yeah, it's very bright. So there's the back side of it. There's the front. And it smells fabulous. Each color is a different scent. Like red is cherry. Uh, orange is orange. Purple is like a lavender. Blue smells like blueberry. Green, it's hard to tell. Yellow smells like lemon. So yeah, it's amazing. Really, really cute. There's that one. Trying to save time so I'm not wrapping them right now. And then I have this one. This one is called Green is the New Black. So this was these were items out of the soapbox. I wasn't able to get a lot of Christmas things that launch, but I have tons on the floor. We'll go through those real quick. We're only at eight minutes, so green is the new black. really stuck. Not sure why. I think because they were made fresh and they put the label on and got them out. Thank you Justin and Shannon for doing second day air. That was very nice of them. I'm not quite sure they had a pack they have a packaging company now. I'm not sure how it ended up in Pittsburgh. I live in Boise, but it's nobody's fault. So here, this is all green, and I have a feeling that this is going to smell like Christmas. It smells like cookies and cinnamon. Wow. Cinnamon and cookies. Yeah, so there it is, green. Okay, I will seal those up in a second. Here's another one. This one is called There's No Place Like Home. There's a label. And then I need to go and find out where my other package is. I have my nature box down on the floor. 
Um, I have that cashmere, kiss of cashmere sweater showing up. We need to run to Sephora. Figure out why that toothpaste won't fit in the bag. Anyway, this is red. It's got sparklies. Real pretty. Oh, it smells like apple cider. Wow. My has husband has been. Husband has one on his sink right now. Smells like apple cider. Wow. Makes you want to buy some. I think I'm going to go buy it. It's nothing better than warm apple cider. When I was in the hospital, I used to drink it all the time. Okay. Then I have Witch Please Bar Soap. This is huge. Absolutely huge. I love their bars of soap. They are just gin ginormous. I think I'm going to have to cut this label. And I don't know where my scissors are. I'm trying to speed through this one. Hopefully it will peel off without ripping. I think it's going to rip. But maybe not. So this is out of the Witch Please uh, soap box. We just made it into a bar of soap. So I can smell it from here. And it is huge. I think these are like six six ninety nine, but they last forever. If you, as long as you get them out of the water. And I have one of those wooden trays I bought. Wow. They put a little silica gel pack in there. Wow, it smells fabulous. Look at this. I don't want it to fall on the laptop. Look at that. It smells edible. So it's got like walnuts on the edge. It smells like vanilla cream and walnuts, like like a, a cream walnut crumble. So that's a bar of soap. Amazing. And then I will show you the rest real quick. I will wrap those up. I've got some huge bars of soap from there. Here is the, this is the Kiss My Vine. got poppy seeds and it's pink. Oops. Just dropped one in my computer. My G doesn't work anymore because I dropped that foundation in there, but that's okay. So this is what that looks like. It's, it's whoop, I dropped another one. I'm going to have to get a can of air. Usually blows everything out. So this is what it looks like from that side. It's light pink, pastel. This is called Kiss My Vine. And it smells very rosy, florally. It'd be a great gift. I love their full-size bars of soap. Just because they last forever. So, let's pull that up. Then I have one more. And then one in the kitchen. It's called apple cider. And it's, it's see-through. It's like a burgundy color. Now this is Pick of the Patch. I love this one. I don't know if I'll ever use it. Well, I have to, or it's going to go bad. This one is so beautiful, and it smells fab. Look at that. There's the sides, the bottom. It smells like apples on the top, and the bottom smells like caramel. So there's that. Pick of the Patch. Bar soap. Okay, and then so there's that. Every the bar soaps, and then let's do the fortune cookie soaps real quick. The fortune cookie sizes. These are from a different company. to go get my other boxes out of the parcel lockers that were supposed to come today. 
Okay, so I said I did Santa's lap. That's the Santa with the bells. Here is under wraps. This one's really cute. Now there's a lot in here. I'm gonna have to cruise through this. This was the Christmas in July. This one is really cute. It's got a, a bow on it. It just needs to be tightened. Under wraps. Smells like uh, vanilla and like you'd walk into somebody's house at Christmas time, like vanilla and their tree. Like vanilla and a Christmas tree. I think I'm just going to put a piece of tape on that real quick to hold it, the ribbon, until I use it. Yeah, I know it sounds crazy. So there's the front. Really cute. Okay. So we will, there's a couple fugly sweaters in here. I won't show you both because they're both the same. Those smell fabulous. Uh, from what I remember, they smell like a Christmas tree. So we did the on Santa's lap, the under wraps, lollipop your cherry, we've seen that, captain's buried booty, um, I'll be good next year. Here's Fuzzy Sweater. This one is really cute and it smells, it's like one of those, they call it, you know, when you get those ugly sweaters from Aunt Marge. Oh, thank you. You know, so this one has like glitter, it has um, Christmas trees, presents on it, just really blinged out. And this smells like a pure, Menthol mixed with pine. So strong, it's unreal. Uh, uh, unreal. So you, before you use, took it and take it in the shower, you'd want to take those little appliques off. You could use them on a card or whatever. Reuse them. I would. And there's bells inside. You can hear it jingling. Really cute. I got two of these. These are fugly sweater. See, so we're at 17 minutes. Try and squeeze the air out. I'm just going to do the Christmas ones. Um, this is Lollipop Your Cherry. This is the one with the, it's got a little lollipop on the side. This is not a Christmas. It may be a Christmas launch. Um, yeah, it's got, it's white with a little sucker on the side of it. it smells like cherry. Captain's Berry Booty. This one's really cute. It smells fab. This one has like a coin stuck in the side. I'll show you real quick. Well, let's do the Christmas. Here's another fugly sweater. I just showed you that. Um, here is I'll Be Good Next Year. We're only at 18 minutes, so I want to make, cut it off at 20, hopefully. Hopefully. This one's green. I can't remember what it smells like. It's got little appliques on it. Oh, it's really cute. It's got little sparkles and an applique. It smells like a pine tree. Exactly like a pine tree. Oh, it says ho, ho, ho on the side. So that's all be good next year. I hope they bring these back at Christmas. I'm sure they will. And then I've got a bundle up. This one's really cute. I have a bath bomb. This is this year will be our Santa Claus. Um, this was last year's launch, Christmas launch, but it still smells just like Christmas. Amazing. Amazing. I don't know if we'll be able to get this one again. Looks like candy, white, it's bath bomb. Amazing. Now that was last year's, so that may be off the market. Okay, and then I've got all wrapped up. This one is really cute. I just dropped one on the floor. 
I'll be good next year. I showed you that one. Bubbly sweater. There's another one of those. Uh, Captain's buried booty. That's not a Christmas. Here's a bubbly sweater. Okay, on Santa's lap. Let me tape this real quick. I'll tape it later. Save time. This one that fell on the floor is lollipop your cherry. That's that may be a Christmas item. Not sure. Um, solid bubble bath. Let's see. All wrapped up. This one's really cute. Not sure. I think this was from this year. Yeah. This is a soap on a rope. Smells fabulous. Smells like a beautiful woman is what I would say. It's got little sparkles on it. Yeah, what a unique idea. How cute. You could hang it. We have one of those bat shower things. I just hang it in the shower. Really cute. I'm thinking that was from this launch. I wouldn't have put it in this box if it wasn't. Okay, we're almost to the bottom. Here is Bundle Up. This is a Christmas one. Light green and yellow. Almost done. Oh. This again smells like a Christmas tree. Oh, it smells so good. Just like a pine tree. I'm not kidding you. See all the sparkles back? I love it. And then they're, I'm so excited for their Fortune Cookie Soapbox. It's my favorite movie of all time. National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. You go to the Facebook page and look up Fortune Cookie Soaps. You'll see uh, Chevy Chase, you know, where he puts his lights on and his, uh, I don't know, I can't imagine how they're going to make the box. But anyway, so here's Candy Cane Fluff. I bought a lot of that last year. This smells like candy canes, white and red with little uh, sparkles. Yeah, it smells like candy canes and it smells edible. Just keep it away from kids because they would want to take a bite out of it. No joke. It smells so good. It smells like a creamy candy cane. So we're getting to the bottom here. Uh, up, up to snow good. This is for my new subscribers. This one is beautiful. It's got it's white and it has little little pom poms and sparkles. It smells like mint. Oh my goodness. Oh, so wonderful. Yeah. So if you can see the sparkles, it's so beautiful. It smells like mint. I'm not kidding. Wow. Menthol Christmas. Not menthol. Spearmint is what it smells like. Not a candy cane mint. Like spearmint. Okay, so I think we're pretty much... I have a smaller rendition of the big bar I showed you with the walnut in here. And then that's pretty much everything. See the pile behind me on the bed? It's crazy. So here is the Merry Elfin Christmas Love FCS. No, this is different. This is blue with walnuts on it. It look it looks amazing. So there's that one. I don't want to drop it in the computer. It smells like blueberry pancakes Christmas morning with wa with or blueberry um, oatmeal. That's what it smells like. So there's that one. Maybe that's what I'll do for Christmas. Every I try and make breakfast for Christmas morning, or I'm going to do it this year, like some kind of casserole or something. That sounds good, like blueberry oatmeal, like make an oatmeal bar. That'd be really cool. You can put out all the fixings, blueberries, just make the oatmeal and have it on the oven. You can put out anything, sliced apples, like for apple pie. Um, that is pretty much everything that's cooked. Tangle in the Tinsel. This was my favorite product last year. This smells just, your Tangle in the Tinsel, it smells just like pink sugar. 
I, my husband ordered me everything they made in this. Everything. It was crazy. Pink and white. I had to throw a lot of this out because I didn't use Their bath bombs were gorgeous. They were hand painted. This is what it looks like. It's pink. It's little sparkles. And it smells just like pink sugar. Oh, fabulous. Hasn't lost a cent because it was in Tupperware. So that is just, that is everything in the Christmas launch so far. They don't have it up now. Here's another fuzzy sweater. And then here is a I'll be good next year. And then here's a happy hula days. Happy hula, hula days. So this one will go over and that's it. And then I will get this uploaded and we will stop. Three videos usually a day. This one has a cinnamon stick sticking out. This smells fabulous. Oh, so you can imagine it smells like Christmas with cinnamon and pine trees. Yeah. Another fuzzy sweater. So that's that's everything. I'll be good next year. Did I show that one? Yeah. Tangle in the tinsel, and then, yeah, so that's everything. I will get this uploaded. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Just keep checking back with Fortune Cookie Soaps. Once their soap box goes out, I'm sure I'm sure it'll be a rush to get there to get the, um, the soap box items. So, yeah, I'm sure I'll be there. And that launches November 3rd, so hopefully the boxes will be out soon. So, love you all. Subs, up, sub. Thumbs me up. And I will get this up as soon as I can, and I will see you later. So, yeah, this was just a late box, and uh, so I did a quick review uh, for my new subscribers from uh, Christmas in July, and then there was another launch party with more Christmas items in August. It was August 29th. Um, they had more Christmas items. And I don't think they're on their website now. I haven't checked it though, so I don't know. But I missed the gingerbread man. That's the one I wanted the most. But anyway, I fell asleep. It wasn't their fault. So I will get this uploaded and I will see you later. Thanks for watching. Sub, sub, sub. Thumbs me up. And I will see you in a while. Thanks for watching. Bye.